Well, joining us now on the line from Taipei is Joe Hagar, the regional vice president of the U.S. Meat Export Federation. Joe Hagar, thanks very much indeed for joining us. My first question is, is uh, well, all the assurances are uh, that uh, U.S. beef is safe. How safe is it? Well, we think it's very safe. Um, this, uh, the, the recent BSE case found uh, yesterday, um, they continue to uh, do the epidemiological work to, to find out its origin. But uh, for Asian consumers, uh, there's so many firewalls in between that, uh, that uh, we can assure consumers that it's safe, uh, our beef is safe. And um, th th again, many many firewalls in place to uh, to prevent any um, any human health concerns. Well, tell us about these firewalls. What do you mean by them, and what are they? Well, let me give you an example. I mean, the information that's coming out so far about this case is it, it's from an old uh, animal, older animal uh, that uh, was found at a rendering plant. The U.S. continues to test about 40,000 um, what it would call uh, uh, animals that would would be at uh, not higher risk but would display symptoms that could be uh, BSC, and uh, we've tested over 1 million cattle. We've found four. This animal was at a rendering facility. Uh, the, the animal was never destined for human consumption, but for the Asian consumer, uh, most of the regulations in place by the importing countries uh, require that uh, beef is derived from animals under 30 months of age. So um, the beef products that come in from, uh, from in the United States to most of the big importing countries like Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong are from these younger animals. They've had all the risky material removed, even though they're young. Uh, their feed bans in place. Um, no. So... Almost zero risk. Joe, very, very quickly in uh, 20 seconds or so, your job is now to try and persuade some of these governments not to ban the import of beef such as South Korea. How do you do that very quickly? Well, let me say it, that's not my job. That's the uh, job of the uh, USDA. USDA uh, in all these countries have a very, uh, a, a very sound relationship with food safety authorities they will be presenting a uh, full dossier on this uh, specific finding. Joe, yes, sir. Joe, that's, that's all we've got time for. Thank you so much for joining. Joe Hangard joining us there on okay. the line from Taipei.